Scotty Bowman behind that Detroit bench with tremendous numbers against Vancouver. You Holy believe that? Something. That's a single digit there in the middle. Nine. My goodness, that is that is quite remarkable. How about Mike Keenan career against Scotty Bowman? Igor Larionov is a scratch tonight for Detroit. He is injured with a groin pole, so he is out of there. Aaron Ward, the defenseman, has got a bad foot. He also one of the scratches tonight. Bob Rouse, the defenseman, out too. Murray the shot, and save made by Kevin Hodson. Lidstrom dumps it back in. Down the middle, Murphy left it. Stay ahead! Kirk McLean came across. He drops back. Murphy fakes, doesn't take. Shot on. That's a save wide off Lidstrom's blast. Shanahan back to Lidstrom. Nicholas Lidstrom, third leading defensive scorer in the league. He's got a cannon right there. Doesn't wind up. Shot saved by McLean. Cutting in was Gilchrist, and it's cleared out. But Fatisov is right there on the power play. There's Slava. But Desoff looking doesn't take it. And another penalty down around the net. Gary Fraser has got an interference call coming in front. You may have noted that Detroit, their penalty killers are above 90% effective at 91%, yet they're only tied for third. Shot on at the side of the net by Messier. Mark Angelin on the far side. Last year, no team finished above 89% in killing off penalties. Oh, Hudson, a save! Dillon scores! Rebound! He got his own rebound. Martin Gelada, who has not had a goal in nine games, gets one here, and the Canucks take a 1-0 lead, and that is the first goal in eight games to be scored against Detroit at home in the first period. They had gone 22 straight times on the penalty kill. Gilney coming back to get it. Hodson came out to play it. Pushed it up the boards and hoped nobody would get there, but Jelena did. Burray to Jelena. Shot save. Short-handed chance. Martin Jelena. Jelena's jumping. And obviously, he scored a goal. That was an excellent chance there on a give-and-go from Alexander Mogilny. Here comes Gilchrist on the steal. Shanahan with him. Gilchrist, Brown, save. Dougie Brown. Slava Fatisov. Two big kickouts. Here comes McGillney. McGillney Brown catches up to him. McGillney saved by Hodson. Yeah, you gotta love that. <laughs> Open this baby up. In behind the net, it is loose. Gilchrist knocked it away. Vancouver trying to get a wraparound chance for Gilney. He lost it at the side of the net. Interesting that you have two coaches in this game who do not want it the way the NHL's playing. They want it opened up. They got it. In the middle. Murphy shot. Star! <laughs> Kurt Murphy ties the game at one. What a great shot that was. Wolfie's a right-hand shot. He made the play on the near boards, chipping it off the boards, and then breaking it all alone. Kirk McLean knocked that one away on the deep, a dump in. Tomas Olsen trying to dump that out in front again. McCarty the shot in the glove. Good play by McLean. Darren McCarty had a couple out in front of the net, and as has happened every time down at the Vancouver end. Now, there are a couple of heavyweights. How about Burry in the corner? Burry drops it back out onto the point. Lume, who got an assist on that first goal, got dumped. But Messier, Sutter, Jelena again! Knocked away by Hodgson. Martin Jelena, he could have a hat trick right now with the chances. Four on three the other way, but batted away, looks from good handle. Burry comes with Jelena. Burry coming with the point, trying to catch it three on two. He's open. Burry drops it. Messier scores! How about Burry? A great look to his right wing, and it was the off wing. For him, he was headed the other way. Messier had an empty net, and Vancouver's got a two-to-one lead. It's very, very seldom you see a team get odd man breaks against Detroit, and it comes at you mighty, mighty quick here. Pavel Burry making a quick play, cut across ice. Oh, dang. oh yeah, great sound right there. Lume on the near side, two assists for Lume so far. Right. Noonan sent it in and paid for it. He gave push it through. Kozlov bounced it around to the far side. Knubel comes over to get it. Mike Knubel getting a chance out the last six games playing tonight. Kozlov scores! A bad goal every game of Kurt McLean. That may be one of them. That's one that he's got to have. He's got to have that kind of play. And that has been certainly frustrating for Mike Keenan talking about that part of it. Now we got a belt right here. Jamie Pusher and Dave Scatcherd going at it on the near side. One good haymaker was thrown anyway. Two pretty big boys, over 6'3", each one of them, over 205 pounds. But again, you, you are right on the mark here, especially 
the Vancouver Canucks, they've come out strong. They had some momentum. Messier's goal makes it a 2-1 hockey game. Now, Kozlov's got a good shot, and there's no question that there's very little room in the net nowadays for players to shoot with the size of the equipment and probably the size of the goaltenders. But this one here through the legs is one that you want back. There's good ones between the legs, and there's one as a goaltender you just want to have them back. What a first period we are having. Shots are 11-7. Turn around, Doug Brown. Oh, that went through a screen. McLean never saw it. He'll put it off your back if he can. Dropped it in the middle. Doug Brown. The flex off McLean. Side of the net. Oh! The way off McLean. Kirk McLean had no idea where the puck was. Shannon leaves it on top. Save made on Doug Brown. Shot by McLean. Stick on the ice. He's going to stop. It's coming towards him. Bang. And how the heck does McLean come up with that gem? Trevor Linden on the faceoff won that one back for Vancouver. They are shorthanded for another 53 seconds. They didn't clear Lids from the shot. Save McLean stood his ground. Rebound is loose. Eisenman tried to hold it. McGillney there up. Lids from poked it back in by Trevor Linden to Darren McCarty. McCarty along the wall. Back on top to Lidstrom. Lidstrom looking. They'll set the power play up. Eisenman really let it go through. Saved by McLean. Eisenman just jumped out of the way off the screen. play by Yerke Lume to eliminate Iserman from scoring. You know, we might be loving it. I'm telling you, these coaches are pulling out what hair they've got left. Because this is just, it's all offense. There's nothing much happening inside the blue lines defensively. Iserman thinks he's got a wide open net. And Lume comes across and makes a great play. Iserman on his knees, puts it right back to McCarty. And he's all alone there. Mogilny doesn't get back in time. He doesn't collapse down low. So McCarty's able to capitalize. 18 to 7, the shots in favor of Detroit. Kozlov is open in the middle. He couldn't get it to him. Doug Brown checked off the puck, not out. And there's Erickson. Dropped it. Brown shot. Rebound. Saved by McLean. Oh, my. We literally had blocker to blocker one time in the net. Doug Brown intercepted. Kozlov shot it again. Doug McLean. Burry's got a little room. Burry trying to come down the middle. Couldn't split the D. Shanahan reached in and knocked it away. Back comes uh, Larry Murphy. Murphy gains the blue. Dumps it off. Shanahan sends it back into the middle. Danilo got tied up. Back out. Let's from the other side. Let's from sends it in. Eisenman scores! Steve Eisenman just ran it off the stick from behind him. And Detroit's got a 4 2 lead. What a play at the blue line by Nicholas Lidstrom. Eisenman gave Lidstrom the drop pass. And it looked like Lidstrom had no option, and he didn't have any option, so he just innocently put it on net. Far side, Tomas Holstrom held that one in. Holstrom along the boards. Puck there in front of him. McCarty had kicked it away. Checked by O'Coin. Back in front. Shot. McLean the save on McCarty. There McCarty with a backhand chance. A tremendous first period as Trevor Linden brings it out, and this first comes to an end. And the Detroit Red Wings have a 4-2 lead. Steve Eiserman getting his ninth from Lidstrom and Holstrom. And now at the end of the period, McCarty is behind uh, Dana Merzen towards the wall. And I don't know who he's got or who's got whom over there. Dino Ogic right there on the ice. Remember Trevor Linden playing in just his second game after missing eight with a groin pole. Fans wanted to call on Eisenman right there, and they're going to get it. Because I was playing for Chicago when he went back to Philadelphia for the first time. That's not the way he reacted. In front shot. Gilchrist saved once. McLean down. Lume trying to put the puck in the pads, but it bounces away. Gilchrist all along. Scores! Is the parting of the Red Sea defensively for the Vancouver Canucks there's just no responsibility inside their own zone we talked about how their penalty killers like to cheat in order to get an offensive opportunity well they did too much cheating third back into the zone they're not moving the puck up ice now they got to find a little room shot by Draper save made by McLean third back up near side point Murphy 
Murphy a shot saved by McLean. This gets any worse. McLean's going to be coming out of there, not because he's playing that poorly. That's what a coach will do when a team is playing this poorly. Caught deep, and I mean deep in the zone. They've got their extra guy in the corner. Shanahan open. Looks the wide on the tip. This team started 4-1-1 one one under Keenan, but they've not won in their last four. Losing three, tying one. Big pile up. Terry Fraser's got a penalty coming here. Batista off with Brash Shear down on the ice. And uh, Kerry Fraser is going to take at least one here. It's an elbowing call on somebody. They'd rather have the guys on top, Lume and Hedekin, to handle the puck. Back in on the rush, Trevor Linden will get some ice time here. Back for McGillney. Power play still underway. They go back on top as the... Here he is! The penalty ends and that'll be a goal! Grant Ledger rifled that baby home. Light came on late. The puck went in in a hurry right on the ice and came off the backside of that net, and it is a 5-3 game. And it's a power play goal for the Vancouver Canucks. It looked like it was a stoppable shot from the blue line. It looked very, very innocent. There must have been some kind of traffic in front. It just hit the sandbags at the back of the net. As I said before, they're following the Vancouver Canucks. Everyone is expecting Mike and Steve Tambellini. Backhand shot, save made on Kelly's power play chance. They have had a ton of injuries this year. And as a result, keep pulling people back. McGillney shot oh. and a big save by Kevin Hodson. Will be brought up by Messier wide to Burray. Short-handed oh. and oh. Oh. quite play it. Messier and Burray were coming. Now Larry Murphy on the power play for Detroit. Murphy centers it. Eisenman wide open. Side of the net. You're on this side. It looked like a goal because the net balls. Wrong side. Messier's got Burray in the middle. Messier. Burray. And he goes to one-timer. Didn't get a stick on it. Kevin Back in the other way. <laughs> Tomas Holstrom to McCarthy. Shot save. Holstrom diving. That's electrifying speed. Jamie Pusher save McLean. Shanahan! A couple of games ago, Colorado beat Vancouver 6 to 4. Gary, it was one of the most entertaining games I've seen, too. Very, very high tempo. Great transition. And it's similar to here. Dan Deneau made the rush. McLean! and into the net. There is no signal yet as to whether or not that goal will count. Right off the chest. Now, scoring off the chest, is that a reviewable thing? I'm just kidding. Scoring off the chest, I believe that's going to stand as a goal. And a goal cannot be scored by an attacking player who deliberately bats the puck in with any part of his body. Did he deliberately bat it in? The rule is no. The goal will count. He is a good one out there along the blue line. We noted that before the start of the game, and he's lived up to it. Shot deflected. It is loose. Larry Murphy able to kick it away. Puck bounced over his stick. Lume back on top, down low. McGillney saved by Hudson on the outside of the net, and we'll get a whistle. I love the old jerseys. I I I, I love the Blackhawks, the Maple Leafs, it's the Ranger jerseys. Shanahan saved by McLean. Batted up in the air in the zone. They've had that wing to wheel on their jersey since 1932 here in Detroit. Right back out of the zone. Gatlin sent that one in. Enough penalty coming up. It's going to be on Detroit. But you can score four all you want, but if you continue to give up six, you're in a heap load of trouble before the third period. Linden shot. Deflected yeah. into the corner. Give up six in a game, you're in trouble. Give up six in the first two periods. You're really in trouble. Shot! Star! And they're right back at it! And a hurt player in the corner. Alexander Mogilny got out in front on Hodson. It is a power play goal, and it makes it a 6-4 game. And Hedekin, who helped set that up by his work in the corner, got up slowly, may never have seen that puck enter the net, but he was part of the offensive chance on that power play. They're down low here with 16 seconds to go in this period. Brown moved over. Anderson gets knocked down. Bryce Shears left it out in front. Backhand chance. Big save. And a rebound. Shot went wide by Skatcher. From the circle, save made by Hudson and Lutcher. Skatcher dumped it behind the net. Rapper on chance. Newman block. And Detroit just barely takes a two-goal lead into the dressing room. And we're underway here in the third. It'll be dumped in. Uh, looked at into the corner by Kurt McLean. Lume back to get it. Lume got around Maltby, but not out. Larry Murphy shot. Shot McLean had it deflected in front. It is a sub 
seven. Four lead for Detroit. 18 seconds into the third period. Played back by Dana Merz and three out of the zone that time. Bonas drops back into the middle. Petusoff cut the man off and Jamie Pusher oh, played it out. Caught him in a change. Doug Brown to Kozlov. Scores! And McLean hardly moved. No goal. There was a whistle. That's why he hardly moved. Well, that explains it anyway. Too many men on the ice well, that's for what Detroit. It was. <laughs> I'll be the only two-goal scorer that we have in this game. Brought in by Hennigan, who got swung around. McGillney left it in the middle. There's Naslin. Save made by Hodson. He finds it and hangs on. They got into Detroit at 2.30 this morning after the game in St. Louis last night, and they'll get to Vancouver at 2.30 with a three-hour time change. Kozlov in. Doug Brown. Shot. Save. Loose Brown tried to bat it away. When you're the leading goal scorer for your team, and your name's Brendan Shanahan, and there are 11 goals scored in the game and you don't have one, you get an edge on, you know? <laughs> All right, it's not our fault. Band on the attempt to get it out of the zone, but has some help there. We're going to land one coming in. Head wide open, McGill, and he just missed. Missed it on the wide side on a short-ended chance. Detroit had caught the change. Kozlov, down the middle, Kozlov for his second. Penalty's over. And we're back to five on five to steal. Maltby for the trick of the save made by McLean. Eisenman's one and one. Messier's one and one. And Nelly two assists, two on one the other way. Right back in Maltby for the trick. Can he do it? Can he score? No. Lume will come in through the middle. And pay for it. the piece off hitting. Vancouver overloads on that far side. Trying to get Messier loose on the near side. Burray looking. Burray the shot. Save made. Rebound. Jelena shot. Deflected in. A great save by Hudson. McGillney off the faceoff. Tried to shoot that twice and that had batted away. Picked back up. Brought in by O'Coin. Left it. And Nazlin shot. Score! Not done yet. And a five on five. Marcus Naslin picks up his second goal of the game. And they'll put the rifle of Burry back. Tried to draw, tried to draw it back to Burry. Got it himself. Save Hudson. Trevor Linden. He couldn't get an angle. He had Hudson down, but he couldn't get the angle. Jelena flipped it up. Larry Murphy had it knocked away, and it's a. The Detroit Red Wings have beaten Vancouver by a score of seven to five. Kevin Hudson gets the win in net. He's now 5-1-1 one one this season. Kirk McLean, the loss at the other end. And a night where we had 44 shots taken by the Red Wings and 31 for Vancouver. Mike Keenan, his team losing the last two nights in a row, and they've not won in his last five games.